Where's the human for this pup? Right back. Right back. Heaven forbid I do one errand without the pups. Or specifically without Enzo. There's like no good place to put the camera on this car. The dash, like it doesn't fit with the microphone. Uh, so I had to run some errands this morning, obviously. And they really weren't conducive to bring the pups since like one of them is Kroger's and I don't like leaving them in Kroger parking lot as much. But uh, I was like, well, you know, I'll be gone for a few hours and I'll be kind of near my parents' house. I'm gonna swing by, pick up Nisha's couple of Christmas gifts I had shipped there. Since she works from home, can't just have them shipped at home in case I'm not there. But she has one gift coming and I was like, well, I'll just get that one later. Not a big deal. Of course, like I get the email, like it's showing up today. So then I'm like, well, I don't wanna like make another trip if I know I only have to delay a few hours. So. I'm here at Kroger's doing my trip. Then I'm gonna go get the pups. Then we're gonna go do the remainder of the errands with them because they can go with me for all the other errands really except for these first couple. And so yeah, pups, you're gonna get to run some errands today. I know you're gonna be thrilled. Figure if I'm gonna drive her car, just put some gas in it. All right, so there's a couple of Christmas gifts that I need to check some stores for. One of them you can't buy online, the other one is sold out online, so I'm hoping to have some luck there. Obviously, we gotta burn some ants, we'll do that first, and then this is just kinda like, you know, I do this sort of stuff because it just gets them more accumulate, accumulate, gets them more accustomed to being in the car. You know, eventually when this COVID thing is over, I wanna do some longer trips, um, but people are always asking like, oh, my pup freaks out in the car, they freak out, you know, how do you get them used to the car? I mean, honestly, it's just, Repetition. I mean, obviously we go to the parks every day. $43, wifey. $43. Wasn't even empty. It was close, but not quite. So obviously we go to the parks every day, but you know, if every time you get in the car, you go to the park or you just go to the vet or something like that's just going to imprint that. So sometimes we go like if we're just going to run out and pick up dinner or something in the evening and they've already done stuff that day, we'll just load them up and take them with us and they don't even get out that you know, trains them that, hey, not every time we get in the car, it's gonna be like the park or something. And then stuff like this, it's, yeah, we're gonna go to the park, but there's also other things we're gonna do. Ooh. Wow, boys, you already ready to go? Oh my goodness, you did this yourselves? Wow, that's impressive. Now, as I was saying, I could have easily, you know, I don't have to take them to run errands. Uh, we're gonna go to the park, we're gonna do something fun. But it's, you know, I look at it as, one, Enzo obviously likes to come. Sometimes his training is that I don't take him places. Uh, back before COVID, I would work one day a week from like Starbucks or something just to make sure he wasn't getting like so attached that's a little harder to do now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, they get to come, which they like going and Helps work on the ang the anxiety and such of being in a car. A few moments later. Boys, you're gonna hate me. Uh, I forgot my wallet. Well, I mean, accidents happen. I was already feeling a little sluggish after driving 30 minutes out of my way for nothing. Yeah, Starbucks. I can't show you where I'm at because obviously wifey watches these videos. Since I drove 30 <laughs> minutes out of my way to get my wallet, they're probably not gonna have it. I'll leave the camera recording down here so you can still hear Enzo bark at me. All right, boys, I'll be right back, okay? I'm not even out of the car yet. Fair enough. Wow, buddy. I did not expect you to stick your head out like that. That was loud. Just a random GT350. It's a nice color. All right, so pulled up the All Trails app, found a trail nearby. Uh, people say it's kind of hard to find, but I think I got a lock on it with GPS, so hopefully, um, I'm supposed to be looking for like this little random gravel parking area. 
Should be fine. Shouldn't be any trouble at all. All right, boys, we're, I think we're getting close, and man, oh man, there's some gorgeous houses up here. I did see this one house, though. It was gorgeous, but then I was like, well, their neighbor, though, is kind of close, and their neighbor's house is kind of small. Granted, still at least two or three times the size of my house, but comparative to the other houses, kind of small. I realized that was their pool house. So we are deep in Indian Hill right now. Still cracks me up to like find random farms through here. Uh, I would love to have a farm through here, or well, I would love to, Nisha wants to have a farm, and like this is still like in the heart of everything. Too bad it would cost like millions. So anyways, looking for this gravel road. All right, I guess this is it, where there's just like a couple random cars parked on the side of the road here. What is that? Where's the human? Where's the human for this pup? Uh, the camera died. I don't know how much of that it caught, but that pup just came out of nowhere. I might have it on my dash cam. Uh, I, I almost got him. Like, he almost came up to me, and then he took off. And apparently, like, this Audi came flying, so I waved him down, so, like, because he was running across the road. But then, like, I ran into these other people who said they've been trying to catch him. I thought, hopefully, it was theirs. Um, but they weren't having any luck either. And then he ran into the woods here. There's like a trail and he ran off into the woods. I had, I left the FJ in the middle of the road with the four ways on. Enzo was barking, uh, obviously, but that has nothing to do with anything, but I had to go get the FJ and he ran off into the woods. I couldn't just go running off. I mean, he like, by the time I got to the entrance to the woods, I barely saw him turn the corner, which was probably like 40, 50 yards away. He's not mine. Oh. No, I don't know whose he is. He has a collar and everything. I know, boys. Don't worry. We're going. Again, it's the middle of a weekday. I mean, it's a nice day, but it's a middle of a weekday. I didn't think it would be busy, especially where we're at. So I'm going to take the GoPro. Just have that recording see if I get anything. I know. I know. I know. All right. I can't tell, but I think that's the loose dog. I did bring a third leash with me. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I would work that out. Might have to literally tie them to a tree. Oh, she's got at least a couple. She's got like three dogs in that Honda. Boys, this is gonna be a tough socialization. Heel, got at least five dogs in this Honda Pilot. Six dogs, heel. She definitely went off running that way. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you guys are he, so handsome and beautiful. He's afraid of everybody and everything. It's he, okay, off. Babe, it's okay. He's afraid of everything, so he will bark almost guaranteed. So don't take it personal. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. That's all. Thanks. Yo. Break. Good boy, Lotus. That was good. You did a good job. Yeah, you didn't bark. Oh, good boy. All right, so I don't know how much of the camera picked up that but basically it seems like she's a dog walker. It makes way more sense now. No, don't lick whatever that is. Come on, come on. Goose, done well. He hasn't barked at anybody, including any of the pups we've seen. And there's two of them still kind of walking behind us. I say kind of, they like totally are. I attribute that seriously to just the last several days of just constant, constant practice. He is by no means cured or socialized, come on. Come on, you can smell a lot. We just gotta get, we gotta get a little distance. Come on, come on. Gotta look, get a little distance. I know, I know, come on. Get a little distance though. Even a week ago, that would have been a disaster. Wow. So I keep seeing these signs that say it's closed. Heal. Um, but then like there's tons of cars and people. Heal. So like I was confused and honestly, I think the trail we're on right now is closed. I should have careful. Okay, now we are officially surrounded. There's two dogs off a leash coming at us and two dogs off a leash behind us. Thinking we go up here. Here go. Okay, get up here. Yeah, get way up here. Yeah. Let's let all these people pass. Oh, that's a good boys. Here come the other two the other way. Oh, that's a good boy, Lotus. Oh, you hear that? They caught that pup pup. Oh, good boy, Lotus. That was a good boy. Yeah, did a good job. 
Wow, pup pup. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's a good boy. Enzo just wants to play so bad. Okay, well, let's carefully make our way back down this. Okay, so that's a no-go on the careful. Okay. I'm also the only person with their dogs on a leash, which is ironic if you're familiar with the channel. Hello. That's a good boy. Lotus, you refuse to look. Lotus is like refusing to look. I'm pretty certain that that person didn't even see us. <laughs> so I'm sitting here trying to figure this out and it says the whole trail is four miles. We started here at the yellow dot. That would mean that we're at least two miles in probably. And I just don't feel like we've been going two miles, boys. Another pup pup. Pretty dogs. Thanks, you too. You know, one thing seems to be clear that if I wanted to have them off a leash, I probably really could and just recall them, grab their handles, go up on the hillside like I've been doing essentially. But better safe than sorry. Plus we're really getting the hang of this leash thing, I think. No, it's not stupid. All right, well, uh, it's a little stupid, but it, it makes the people feel safe. Yeah, I know. They. Ch All right, boys, we got a, this is gonna be a tight one. There's no good spots this time. Thank you, you too. <laughs> I grew up with German Shepherds, <laughs> but I've never owned one. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Off, 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 off. Yeah. We got close, but that was a good one, Lotus. We got close, but I could tell he was growling a little bit. And so back up a little bit. That's pretty good. And especially considering how much closer we were that time. And the fact that she was talking to you guys, which we know Lotus doesn't love that. So that was pretty good. I'll take it. You know, I just got to say, like, I read where somebody, when I was looking up where the spot was somebody said like oh we ran into a few people and they were really nice and i feel like that's what everything always says but i am shocked like everybody has been like just and i mean given the environment and the situation we're in there's really no reason not to be nice per se when you're just out with a walk with your dog but just everybody has just like said like hello or they're so pretty all that sort of stuff everybody has a dog i mean i think we've seen one couple that didn't that one older couple even the lady with like using like not a walker but she had like not crutches but like canes or something something to help hold on boys i gotta get this uh whatever it was she had you know just kind of help her walk she's out here on a hike with her two pups so i'm just really shocked like i can't think of a time where i've had so many people in recent memory now granted covid we haven't been out as much but man just so many people I also love that it's warm enough today that my battery hasn't died yet. All right, Lotus begged me to walk up this last time and I wouldn't do it. We're gonna do it this time. I wish there was more of these little side passes. Of course, it, oh, geez. Of course there's uh, nobody coming now. All right, so I've decided to let them off the leash for the first time and probably the only time because standing up here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the GoPro, but I can see all the way that way and all the way that way. Give you a little chance to just kind of explore, do what you want to do. There's nobody coming behind us. There's nobody coming in front of us. So I can see a long distance in front of me. Oh, shortcut. Okay. Fair enough. I doubt the GoPro is going to be able to see it as well, but there's like an old fireplace chimney over there. All right, I'm still not exactly sure how far we've gone, but I think I'm going to call it here, boys. Could use some water and we still got to go all the way back. I know, it's my fault, I'm sorry, I know. I'll tell you what, if you're coming this way and you're like running or something, not paying attention, you may not notice that the uh, pathway is gone. Boys, we gotta go this way. Because when we came in, I did not notice that. I went off to the side thinking I was getting out of people's way, when in actuality, I was on the path. Go on. Oh, dang it. I misstepped it there and my foot is soaked now, awesome. Aww. Does he look like he's a threat? 
that's well, still not too bad, all things considered. All right, boys, that was pretty good. I don't know how long that was. I'll have to look it up by the timestamps on the camera. Probably just like put it up on the screen. We got two more pups coming. I was hoping to get out of here before they came, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Wow, that was good. They were so close, they set off the rear sensors, which if you know anything about FJs, those sensors are pretty much useless. <sighs> they pretty much, they usually let you know after you've hit something. Wow, that was impressive, boys. Good job. All right, boys, just a slight little detour downtown. All right, boys, we're almost home. Can't really show you the box in the back. I forgot to get lunch. All right, boys, made it home. Did forget to mail these stickers, so sorry to those people. I will get those in the mail tomorrow. If you don't know what these this is about, you can donate to the Forgotten Dog Rescue, and I will send you some free stickers. I'll put them on the screen right now. Um, but even if you d donate a dollar, we sell the stickers for five bucks each, so I will give you one, you know, which trust me, they cost me more than a dollar. Cost me way more than a dollar. No, let Precious go. We don't need Precious. You're tired. Come on. Enzo. No, you're fine. That's no, alright. I got it. No, 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 no. You've done enough today. You've had a long day. Oh, thanks. You know, I could strap this to you. I'm just saying. Just gonna hang out and watch while I make dinners. Yeah. Got the Gary V interviewing LL Cool J. I'm a huge Gary V fan and I grew up listening to LL Cool J. So if you like those guys, you would like this interview. Uh, fair warning, not family friendly. Well, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, it was definitely unexpected. And uh, yeah, I mean, just I haven't really looked at all the footage yet, but hopefully it came out well with the GoPro and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed watching Lotus and Enzo get better at socializing. Turned out a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit more of a boring day that I may not be able to have enough content. But seeing about a dozen or more dogs and walking near cliffs, that's fairly interesting, I feel like. As you can tell, it is the next morning. We're loaded up. We are going to a brand new park today, so make sure you check out tomorrow's vlog. If you want to see that, uh, yeah, I mean, take your pups out, put them in the car. Even if you're, like I said, even if you're just going to like go pick up dinner or something, you know, take them with you. Even if you got to like run to UPS or whatever, where you're just going to be like in and out real quick, take them with you. Let them get used to that. Otherwise, appreciate you guys. Otherwise, appreciate you guys as always. And we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, say bye. Oh, say bye. Yeah, we're going to leave the house. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye.